why is the rum gone? Oh. I had something in my teeth. Maybe I should have checked that before I started video. Anyway. Caught that shit quick. Anyway. I want to talk about alcohol. And my relationship to it. There's my doggy. There's my water. Oh, you got an itchy? Oh my... Is your powder? Anyway, so my preferred drink is rum. I somehow have more energy when I drink, but then I also sleep. Sometimes I sleep shitty. <laughs> Pardon me. Yeah, so I can drink. <coughs> There's another one. What? I'm gonna open the doors. Get some, get some airflow in here. <coughs> I think that last one was because there's a nerve entering a nerve that goes into the eyes that <coughs> yeah i don't know the exact science about that but yeah there's a nerve like when your eyes get a lot of light for the first time you sneeze <sighs> so i'm gonna do this so here's a how-to on a snot rocket. Make sure you got some boogers in there. Close one. I don't know how I can do this right. So also pay attention to the wind. Wind is going that way. <laughs> also wipe your nose on your sleeve because hopefully you wash your clothes once in a while. Sometimes it's gross. But afterwards, you can smell so good again. Jesus Christ, doggy. Where's my broom? I gotta do this shit every fucking day. I gotta sweep out my van. Somehow I make it really dirty every day. All right, so I was talking about my relationship with alcohol. I love it. That about, but all, uh, all right, so AA, Alcoholics Anonymous. Uh, there's a group over there that meets. I've met some of them. They're kind of weird. Uh, so I, my life is manageable. I do believe in a higher power. But I'm also Native American, like, that much. I've never done 23andMe, I don't fucking know. So yeah, fire water, I fucking love it. But it also might be time to take a break for a little bit to reevaluate. So I've got like, I got a case of 12 beers that I found by a trash can last night. Someone paid money for that and left it behind. Maybe they are more of an alcoholic than I am. I don't know. Uh... But I've never left alcohol behind. Like, whatever I buy, I fucking drink.
I think that's enough for now. I'm gonna put like coconut oil all over my face and my lips. I live in the desert. I get dried out easy. Also, I'm gonna drink like a gallon of water. All right. So, next video you will see how I transform from this into a well hydrated not drinking person <sighs> also yeah I, I can't shut up apparently so Tuesday uh, how do my hands get so dirty oh Jesus Christ Anyway, uh, Tuesday, when the VA opens up, because Monday is Martin Luther King Day, fuck yeah, equal rights for people of all skin tones, um, I'm gonna make VA appointments, get my teeth taken care of. I lost my train of thought again. Yeah, so after that 12 pack of beer that I got, so I'm going to use that to wean myself off of alcohol because I can, like, I can and have been drinking like a 750 milliliter bottle of rum every day or more. Uh, Is my hairline receding? Is it going back? Possibly. Yeah, so... My YouTube channel may change. So yeah, I've had this idea multiple times, but usually only when I'm super high and drinking, I'm like, I'm going to be no mind-altering James. Like, I, I don't want to drink alcohol. I don't want to smoke weed. I don't want coffee. No cigarettes. But I only say that when I have all four of those things. And I'm completely content. Actually going through, like, like the wanting period of all of those ah, it's gonna be shitty so the reason why i've been avoiding like stopping all the drugs is last time i did that i got in a relationship with a lady and it didn't turn out well we had a kid so i i guess it did turn out well a kid pro like is alive but it's really hard dealing with life without uh, mind-altering substances in my experience but I'm gonna try it again but also this isn't the last like you get to see me drink all those beers You're going to see me smoke the rest of these backwoods. Oh, yeah. So, I used to smoke American Spirits. Because it was just tobacco. I don't, I don't carry that much anymore. Like, I'm good. I can smoke whatever. Also, caveat, if I do die of cancer from smoking-related COPD or lung cancer, I'll be okay with it. I'll be like, I did it to myself. I chose it. 
so it's okay. All right, 10 minutes. All right, this is enough. I love you. I love you.